Hey everybody, welcome to Breakfast with Bob, our Oceanside edition. My name is Bob Babbitt. We're brought to you by Hoka, Master Spas, DeBoer Wetsuits, Premium Plus Sports, S-Fuels, and their all-new Zone Fuels. You can get a free sample of that below. And our Challenge Athletes Foundation, our next guest, two-time Ironman world champion here in beautiful Oceanside, Mr. Patrick Lange joins us. How you doing, Patrick? I'm very good. Um, pleasure to be here. It's yes. my first time in California. Uh, first time Oceanside. No, wait a second. First time? Yes. You've not raced here before? No, it's been on my bucket list for such a long time. Oh, you're going to love this and course. And I can't see why. <laughs> this is actually a, a really good course for you because the bike ride has some great climbing. The run is, I mean, there's a couple little bumps, but it's it's pretty flat, but it's it's a fast it's a fast run course, which is which is great for you. Yeah, so I, I stalked I stalked a little bit Jason West's time from last year. Yes, and he was flying. Yes, he was. Uh, and um, no, I'm really looking forward also to experience the bike course because we cannot go onto it obviously because it's in the military, military base. base. Yes, I know that as well. Exactly. Uh, so. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be really interesting. So yes. you can tell me some more secret details <laughs> about the bike course. <laughs> it's, it's what's cool is Camp Pendleton. Originally, this was in 2000. It was a full Ironman, and oh, everything really? was on the base. Oh, the, yeah, like you ran here, but you did the swim on the base. Really? Where did they swim? They swam. There's a little bay there, and actually, mm. originally the thought was we'd put a place called Del Mar Beach on the base, oh. but you can get like six, seven, eight foot swells there oh. and the race director graham frazier was i don't want somebody flying all the way here to do a full ironman and be out of the race in the first five minutes so <laughs> we're moving into the bay but the funny part was when they first did it is the, the first guy came out of the water i think his name was brian rose like in 58 minutes uh, for 2.4 swim and everybody was looking at the guys going do you guys think you measured this right yes sir <laughs> 2.4 nautical miles sir <laughs> <laughs> wow, how long Whoops. is that? <laughs> like, it must be, wow, what, for four and a half? <laughs> five? Yeah, no, it, it was a long way. It's a they were long out way. There like that. Yes, oh, wow. It, it, it was pretty Okay. Funny. Yes. So that's, that's uh, not going to happen uh, no. on the weekend. And no, you'll be fine. I, thought, I think it's good when, when the swell is too big, they can also move the. They can move swim it all into the harbor. It, it's. But you know what's nice is this course is so unique because you do swim in the surf to start out. You go mm -hmm. through the surf, come into the harbor. Mm -hmm. the, one of the big issues is if there's not cloud cover, the glare uh, okay. as you're heading out of the, um, from the ocean into the harbor, okay. it can be really, really bright. So tinted goggles, mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's beautiful. The whole, you'll love the course. It's, it's, it's it really, can't it's pedal perfect, but. perfect race to kick off. Um, no question. Which, w what will be a great season for me. You know, it's, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I, I was, you know, waiting to, to come here and, and experience the race first hand. And I have the feeling that this year, it's the right year to yes. do it because this year and we will talk about it. It's going to yes. be really exciting for me. Well, yeah, talk a little bit because usually you, you do Texas. So will you stay in the U.S. until Texas? What is, what's the plan? Yeah, I will. I will stay here for, for the Ironman Texas. Um, and it's, it, you know, I created or, or, or decided my racing schedule purely on what races give me goosebumps yes what races i get you know really excited about um it's it's a privilege if you if you can choose races right after that i yep. think uh, I've, I've worked hard for for, for accomplishing <laughs> that and um because you know when i was racing ironman portugal last year mm -hmm. Um, obviously coming from a great uh, result in, in Nice and um, great uh, result in, in, in Rot, Rot, yeah. you know, it was, like, it was a, almost, it, it, the season was... Already a success. Exactly. Yep. And you go there and you feel like, nah, I'm, I'm super motivated, I'm, I'm fit, I was probably uh, a little bit fitter than uh, even going into Nice, so, but... I didn't, you know, I didn't feel it, you know. You didn't I, have the like, butterflies I, I, in your exactly, belly. Exactly, like yeah. I was like, okay, it's another race. I should be, you know, the, it was just missing that little yep. extra boost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get, well, you're coming off of the first ever Ironman World Championship in Nice, mm. where you had an amazing, you ran the fastest ever Ironman World Championship marathon. 
and get second there. I, I, very few people. You got the Ironman World Championship second and Rod second. I think combined, maybe you're eight minutes out of winning both races. Mm. <laughs> something like that. Like, <laughs> something like that, yeah. 355 and five, something or other. So you, it's hard to come off of the buzz from those world championship type races. Take me. Ironman Portugal is great. Wrong. Ironman wrong Portugal is great. Yes, yeah. yeah, but it's, but it's not, not a world so, championship. And I definitely, you know, I looked at the, the possibilities to race in 24, and all my picks are like they give me butterflies, and yes. they give me they give me goosebumps. You know, for Ironman text, um, Ironman 70.3 Oceanside, it's been on the list, and yes. it's you know coming here, seeing the vibe, and. <laughs> <laughs> smelling the weed along there. <laughs> well, and this is, to be honest, this is the 50th anniversary of the sport of triathlon. And it started here. Oh, uh, right? yeah. Yeah, exactly. the sport started in San Diego, and having you here yeah. is pretty damn cool. The other thing that's cool is when you think about six years in a row, Sebastian Keenley, Jan Ferdano, Patrick Lange, it's six years in a row from 2014, 2019, you guys from Germany won six world championships yes. in a row. Two of those guys are, are done. <laughs> and Patrick Lange is still not just standing, but running 230 marathons off the bike. Uh, you're probably racing as well as you ever have. Uh, indeed. I, I have the same feeling yeah. that I can, uh, uh, I'm able to improve. Um, I'm turning 38 this year and uh, feeling, uh, you know, yes. fresh and young and motivated. Yes. And, um, I think I was, I am one of the only ex more experienced athletes who was able to um, go with the young generation. Exactly. Brings, yep. you know, that I, I also can feel that they level up the sport, which is great. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love it. And at, but you have to be able to keep up with them. You yes. Know? And oh, I'm yeah. still motivated to, to do the work that's necessary to do the scientific um, the work tunnels, behind that, that. Yeah. you know, I love it. And so I was able to, to improve and um, I'm, I'm excited to, you know, show, yes. show what I've, I've worked for. Well, and t you have such a great relationship with the Woodlands and, and being down yes. at Ironman, Texas, that's become a good training base for you. Yes. Is that you'll go right from here to go to Woodlands and train? Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. that makes yeah, perfect sense. We go sense. on Monday and um, yeah, spend, spend quality time in the Woodlands. In a place that you love. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then but I can't see why people love this place, so maybe I should <laughs> cancel my flight and stay a little bit longer. Stay here a couple of days. There's some, <laughs> yeah. there's some wonderful training here. There uh, really, really is. But there's nothing bad. I mean, you're, so much of your career is tied to the Woodlands because when you came to that race and had your big breakthrough, mm -hmm. you were pretty much ready to wrap it up, mm -hmm. right? If, if you didn't do well in that race, one, you don't get the that's Kona. That's very true. Right? And you, you might have to retire from the sport. Yes, that's very true. Yes. You know, I've, I've worked as a physical therapist yes. um, uh, before, so I did the studies and then worked for two years. And uh, I decided in 2016 when Ferris Al Sultan, uh, 2005, Ironman World Championship yep. uh, winner approached me and said, you know, we had good trainings together. We went to training camps together. And, and um, if you want, uh, you know, I'm your coach now. And I said, OK, that's a big chance. And I yes. took it. So I quit my job and said, OK, the 2016 season is my make or break year. Put everything in one card and um, eventually won yeah <laughs> yeah well you win you win texas and then you go and you get third at the at the ironman world championship your first yes. time there yes break the run course record and good you, times every <laughs> right and that what led to um, basically three three great years when you there yeah. and then you win the next two and mm. uh it's your your career just took off but you, do you ever think back to that because it was you had i think it was like lead poisoning or something from your debt you had uh, you were so, I think you were grinding your teeth and there was fillings that were yes. going into your bloodstream. Yes. So you had lead in your bloodstream and for a long time, couldn't figure out why you were so tired. I remember hearing stories where you were like, just boom, passing out at, at yes. meals. Yes. Yeah. A yeah. And you're eating, you're having a salad and, or whatever, and throwing tuna, canned tuna on there <laughs> to add to the mercury to the... <laughs> 
that's also like you learn you know over the years you, think, you learn yeah. so much and um you know it was a big learning curve curve for me yeah um to 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 know your body and to um uh figure out what right. works for me and um um i've I've been on a vegetarian diet after right. the, the lead poisoning stuff. And um, the problem with the lead poisoning was that um, I, I uh, developed um, a stress fracture in my foot. That's right. And it wouldn't heal because of, you know, lead in, goes in, in the your bone yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. It's, it stops the, the bone from healing. And it right. took me like three, four months in 2017. Right. With no running. Uh, to recover from that, and um, during that time, uh, you know, I felt that this is what I want. This is what I, you know, that it got me more focused on the on the corner race, right? Even, and uh, it teached me so much about my body. So, yeah, and that was the year the that positives. I think Lionel Sanders had a ten minute lead and ran a two fifty one mm -hmm. marathon, mm -hmm. and you didn't just. I mean, it's one thing to run a two thirty nine marathon, but it's different when you have to run <laughs> a two thirty nine <laughs> marathon to win the race. It's one thing when you're leading the race and yeah, you run a two thirty nine, but you're looking. It's not like he's dying. He's running two fifty one. That's that's pretty damn good. And you're running him down. But was there a point like when you're in the energy lab that year where you're thinking? I don't know. I'm running out of time here. Um, to be honest, I stayed within myself. Yes. You know, I, I, I cannot control what, what other athletes around me are doing. Right. So I try always try to focus on myself and try to race my own race and extract uh, the most of every step, the, the most of every minute I, I am in the race. So I focus on my nutrition. Um, and it's it's kind of my way of racing. You know, I know that for the last 10 miles, these are my miles. That's where right. I gain the most time on my competitors. So um, I kind of was, you know, hoping that he he fades, and right. um, I got I got the time splits. And um, it's always funny when I'm in the marathon because when I start, you know, the the people on the sidelines they say, "Ah, oh, you have, let's say, ten minutes." Yeah, they are not really excited and say, "Ah." Oh, it's 10 minutes like <laughs> you better stop you go home and then seconds okay <laughs> and the next on the next like five kilometers down the road it's like oh you gained like eight minutes and then you see that the excitement levels <laughs> yeah, of, of the, the people <laughs> of the crowd just so, your excitement level, their yeah, excitement level. It's, it's, <laughs> that's so cool that also keeps me in the race you can and see motivated. their faces going yeah oh my god and this yeah, time yes the the, the 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 guy on the motorcycle yes. came up the, 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 the guy yeah with, yeah with the board with the board and yeah. he was like I don't know how, but you can catch him. <laughs> You're really making it. <laughs> that is funny. That is funny. Funny story. Uh, you remember Chris Lieto? He was a, a pro, right? Yes, I and remember him. He, and he got run down by Strong Craig by Alexander mm -hmm. over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. So one time he's doing the 70.3 up in Boise, Idaho. Okay. And when he's leading the after the end of the bike, and he says to the lead cyclist, do me a favor. <laughs> Give me a little warning if you see the guy coming, right? So he keeps saying to him, uh, uh, five miles in, am I okay? Just fine, just fine, just fine. All of a sudden, at about almost almost 13 miles, the guy goes, uh-oh. <laughs> he goes, then here's Crow. He goes, that was my heads up, uh-oh. <laughs> here comes here, here comes Craig Elliott. Here comes Patrick Lange. Uh-oh. Uh, here he is right there. That crap. But I also had my growy moment. Right. Oh, the uh-oh, growy moment. I think... Uh, oh, when you came across <laughs> the finish line breaking his course. No, record. no, no, no. Oh. In uh, We raced uh, in... Uh, where was it? Uh, in... The Philippines in 70.3 Philippines wow. and I was leading I was actually um, you know I cannot ride my bike as people know because yes. so I broke the bike course record for the <laughs> for the bike course yeah. there I've always heard that stuff about <laughs> you if they look at what you did in these they look at some yeah, of these tough I don't, yeah. 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 I don't know. Um, but you know I was off the bike with solidly let's yeah. I don't care three four minutes yeah, yeah, yeah. solid solid bike uh, performance and big and, lead it's a half marathon and in, into the half marathon yeah. and he he catched me and uh i so i also had my so the, not lead. there's not many moments where you get <laughs> run down by somebody no <laughs> that never happens that's like yeah. 
Wow. So you had your Craig Alexander uh oh moment. Absolutely. <laughs> Did it was like all of a sudden he was there? Um, yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. So obviously uh, the Kona at the end of the year, right? Mm. That's uh, in October. That's uh, that's going to be the number one, I'm assuming, number one goal. You want to go get your third title, which would be Absolutely. awesome. Yes. Um, and uh, so for the rest of the season, we obviously know Ironman Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, do you, at this point, Point, do you are you you're already in Kona, right? Yes. Yes. I you, you, okay. You qualify. So, so you don't qualified. have to do Ironman Texas, but you love no. Ironman Texas. As I said, it's a scene that really excites me. Yes. Um, I will do um, Ironman Texas. Yes. As my second race of the year, then uh, I will do two weeks later. Um, it's not a hundred percent sure, but ninety percent sure. I will race uh, at seventy point three Mallorca. Ooh, which that's is a beautiful, beautiful race. Uh, yes, that's kind of my my training hotspot. Yes. Um, then I will go to Rot again. Good. Oh, I'll be there. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah that's so, the best. Yeah. I mean, you experience the race. It's just <laughs> it's the best. Like and you've no won other. there. I've won there, and, you've been and I have um, I two second places, yes. and um, so. I was able to beat Magnus in Nice, right. so I'm I'm uh, hoping, <laughs> still a little bit hopeful that I can beat him in his because I mean Rot is like a made for this guy. You oh, know, the bike is yeah sub four hours on the bike. That's oh. unbelievable what those guys are doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, ridic yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, it was, it was. So, but so, but the good thing about that is <laughs> we've already taped the video of your celebration coming across the line. Remember okay. we did that a couple of days before. Uh, yeah, you, you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you showed us your victory <laughs> dance. We taped that, and it's like, okay, we, we can hold it. We've got it. We've got it ready mm -hmm. to, to air whenever you want to do it. Good. So, yeah. We'll say. Looking forward for that. Yes. Then I will do Ironman Frankfurt. So it's a big opportunity this year for me to go to race the two big German races wow. in Rot and Frankfurt. Which one is normally is no, 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 no. Because it's a soccer European championship, they had to move... Because Frankfurt is um, yes. a place, a, a, a big city, yeah, yeah. city um, uh, in the in the European yeah, Championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they don't can, uh, they cannot handle two big events at the same time. So they yes. said, okay, you have to move to Ironman six weeks back. And I said, okay, <laughs> sign me up. <laughs> six weeks, that's awesome. Yeah, it's well, perfect. And also because of the Olympics, everything. Yes. So Nice got shoved back, right? Mm -hmm. The women's race got shoved back. So mm -hmm. Ironman now September 26th, or October 26th mm -hmm. yes. in Kona. Yes. So it's, that's later. Exactly. So everything's playing so out for everything you. Everything makes sense, you know? Wow. You see my planning. So, so there's six weeks so, between road and Frankfurt, Frankfurt. Wow. and then 10 weeks to Kona. To Kona. So it's 10 weeks from Texas to Rode, six weeks from Rode to Frankfurt, oh my God. and then 10 weeks. So I'm doing four long course races this year. For all ones you love. Yes. All ones you love, all with so. plenty of time to recover in between. Exactly. exactly. And you can use some of them as just not. And you, you know what? Tell, also yeah. the carbon yeah. shoes. I feel that the recovery with the carbon shoes goes quicker. You were mentioning that, that it's not just how fast you run in them. Yes. It's that you recover faster yes. with the carbon yes. shoes. Yes. Also, with, that's one point also. I really, my main focus on, on the races will also be staying on my nutrition plan 100%. Yes. Because I feel if you do your nutrition strategy right, you also recover much faster. No if question. You, if, you, if you run out of energy, the recovery from, uh, from even from a 70.3, yes. if you bonk, uh, the recovery will take twice the time. Right. So, yeah. That is wild. So I mean, what a great season! That, I mean, everything is really, is really for that. yeah. Everything is better. and this off season, you've stayed healthy. Um, in the off season, I stayed healthy, but <laughs> when I started training uh, in December, I caught COVID uh, again. <laughs> like that's right, you had it before. Yeah, I think I had it three times. Got vaccinated two times. Oh my god! So uh, yeah, it was uh, uh, horrible, but. I wasn't struggling so much. I was training like two late two weeks later. Yes. I was back training again. Yeah. But Julia kind of caught the the long COVID thing, yeah. so it took her ages to recover. But uh, yeah, she's she's fit now. But yeah, no. So the start of of the preparations didn't yes. went so smooth. But um, uh, since January, I. Um, I, I You've could, been good. I, you know, that's a good feeling when you go to a race and you think back and you think 
what could I have done better? Mm. And you think, no, I, I couldn't have done anything better. Like I couldn't, I couldn't think of um, a workout that I would be in the retro perspective, be able to squeeze out more right. or, you know, like it was just perfect from yes. here. So that gives me a lot of confidence. I know that I also worked after knees, you know, I, 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 I had the feeling like I need to improve my swim. I need to, I need to get another influence. Right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we changed um, the swim coach and worked really hard on the swim. So I want to, to show that I hope to, that it, it will work. I mean, I know the times in the pool are faster. I feel so, much better, yeah. but you know how it is. You know, like race day is different. This is what counts. Well, you know? and also you'll be in the surf, in the bay, there's glare, there's all sorts of different stuff going. It's different. Yeah. Race day is, is, is always different. When you think about what you did this year, I don't know if we've had somebody who had three Portugal, even though you know, you're fourth, 238 marathon there, yeah. 232 at Nice, 238 in Maros. 230, 238 at uh, Portugal. Oh, yeah. wow. 232 Not at Nice. Not bad for walking. <laughs> I know, you walked a bunch. <laughs> and I was, I was screaming to my wife. Were like, you really like, nah, it really hard. Were you like, this is, I, I don't want to be here. That, it, you know, the Portugal story. Yes. <laughs> I, I want to hear the Portugal story. <laughs> I have a, I was having a great race. Yes. Well, yeah, um, a 44 minute swim. That's great. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was a really fast swim. Uh good bike. Yeah. And then um I kind of missed the entry of my transition. So what I didn't know was they have two separate transition zones. One for the 70.3 race happening uh, at the same the time and one for the fall. So we came down this 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 road and in the ditch before the road goes up again to the harbor where the 70.3 um, transition yeah, yeah. entrance is in the in the ditch you had to turn right <laughs> you kept going. and i i had some it's not an excuse it's yeah. my own fault i had some 70.3 a troop athletes around me so i wasn't paying attention yeah, yeah. that i had to go right so i was opening my shoe doing my <laughs> yeah yeah pre ready for a run and yeah. then so i said okay the transition is uh, down there because all all the uh, age group athletes were heading this direction and you know i i unclipped and i was running and uh, i was at some point I said, like, where's number one? Where's number one? Where's number one? I cannot find number one. And the volunteers were looking at me like, what, what are you no doing here? <laughs> so, <laughs> You're at the wrong party. <laughs> I measured yeah. in, the, in the Garmin app. I measured the run yeah. that I did through the, through the uh, yeah. uh, transition zone. And it uh, turned out that I was running two kilometers yeah. to be finally in the in the Ironman oh my God. <laughs> in the full distance transition. That's so, even a more impressive race. So this is why I had a big argument with my wife because then from a really coming, like from the position of being yeah. able to win the race to, fuck, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> this is so shit. Like, what the fuck just <laughs> happened? Exactly. You know, I started to run and I said to her, um, I, I'm not going to make it. I, I would DNF, like, fuck it. That's yeah, yeah, not, that's yeah, not yeah. worth it. I was like yeah. 12th position yeah, yeah. and um, coming again, coming out of the mindset of, okay, I can win this. Let's, let's fucking go. Right. And uh, she was like, you are not stopping. I will beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I will kick your ass. You are not stopping. So I stopped. <laughs> so you immediately stopped. Yeah, I, sto I, I, stopped I, I stopped at her uh, when, I was, when I saw her, yeah. and we were really... <laughs> so you're like arguing in the middle of the race. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? And yeah. she was shouting at me. I'm surprised me she didn't again. take the shoes and run. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she, she um, um, convinced me <laughs> to, <laughs> to keep going. And, um, and you had yeah. a good run. Mm. I was surprised that it's. Yes. I didn't know. I, d I didn't even look at the uh, the results. You sure went sub eight. Uh, 
Did I? Yes. I have no idea, honestly, Papa. I have no <laughs> idea. Honestly, I didn't. If, because if, I was so, yeah. I was so done. You know. If somebody said to you a couple of years ago, "Hey, you just did an Ironman. You went 44, 424, 238, 758, 51," you'd be like, "Oh, wow. oh my, I'm on top of the world! I just won the Ironman World Championship. That's awesome." Oh, I, yeah, I was see, I yeah. arguing in the street. <laughs> that is hilarious. That yeah. is so fun. So man. I'm uh, actually really happy that she she um, convinced me yeah, to keep so, racing yeah. because um, also it got it, it got me a lot of credit in the in the social media yep. uh, uh, bubble for 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 overcoming and, and absolutely still, you know and that's what it's what it's about I think you know yes keep racing and even if you're in a mental space of it's not worth anymore it's it's i'm 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 done with the race it's so important keep to keep going so you it's know even message. after 20 years yes. of of racing uh, on a high level this last ironman race was um, you know a big big learning for me right and, uh, a, a great takeaway so yeah so when i was watching nice i'm sitting there originally everybody was really upset about oh four loops on the run it's going to be awful but the reality is there's so many spectators who didn't know what, how great. to spell triathlon, right? <laughs> they yeah. just happened to be on the promenade mm -hmm. they, and mm -hmm. they're like cheering for everybody mm -hmm. and for someone like yourself. So now you've got, you, you've got a target. You can see people, right? Yes. As every lap. You must have loved that run. Oh, it was a great run. I said <laughs> it. It was the best running experience yeah. um, of my life. Uh, wow. It was really, really great. Um, I, I, I said to Julia after the race, I, I feel that I've I've lost a little bit of my soul on the, on the promenade des Anglais because I was digging so deep and it was it was really painful because yeah. I just went 110 um, percent, but it was worth it, you know. And and uh, the the crowds were amazing. Um, it it was a feeling like no other. Uh, yeah, like it was it was it, such a special. Compared to, we all know uh, we all love Kona. Of course. It, no question no. about it, but th I mean the emptiness and the the, the loneliness and which the is part of the, the deal, the, right? The inner yeah. fight in Kona is what makes it also really special, right? But to have that, it's a different kind of energy, and I, I, I it I was great it. as well. Yes. They, you know, listen, yes. you can have two world championship courses with two different world ch world championship uh, emotions, right? It's mm -hmm. it's different. You've got people cheering you on. I know. And also think about how dark it is out in the lava mm -hmm. fields. Mm -hmm. And it was lit up all night. You're on yeah. the promenade. It yeah. was for a lot of people who were finishing later. Yes. I think it kept them pumped up. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely, it, it was really wonderful. I thought it was a great. And if you would be able to win both, you really can say that, you know, you are the complete triathlete, right? Because their races are so different to each other. Oh, I can't even imagine because when we were at that Global Triathlon Awards, mm -hmm. I remember taking a photo with you and Sam. Mm -hmm. And you guys were training. I don't know if you trained that day or the next day. The next day. We the next day you went and rode the course. Mm -hmm. And you guys ended up getting first and second. That's mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I treasure that photo. It's pretty cool. It's like, yeah, I predicted this. Oh, yeah, six of course you did. That was my thing. Yeah. <laughs> but the amount of – it's such a different course. There's no other course like that yeah. with 8,000 feet of climbing. How many times descent, did you ride? Yeah, oh, the, the descents descent, are really yeah. scary. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. How, um, how often did you train on that course a lot? Yeah, we went there, I think, three times uh, yes. to reckon the course, to, to, to get the equipment right. We did a lot of uh, study about the, the bike that right. we used because um, at first we thought uh, it might be a good idea to use the road bike with a clip-on aero right, bar. Yeah. So, you know, sure. how Canyon is. They... Did all do whatever work. you want. Yes. So we went with two bikes to the wind tunnel. We found out that the the the, the, uh, the aero road bike setup that we have built or that Canyon have built um, was actually fast. Yes. So it could compare to the the numbers of the of the Speedmax of the TT bike. Yes. So all the data in the lab s said okay should be the faster option to go with the road bike because it's much lighter right up the hill and you have better handling down the hill then we went to to nice and tested real life and we found out that not the truth that yeah. the tt bike is so 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 much faster yes uh, but you would know that if you're just doing exactly. you have to get on the course exactly. yeah yeah and in during the race the the descent the downhill was just 
it was the moment when I when I thought, oh, uh, I was I was going down and I had the camera motorcycle um, behind me and I always could hear how the motorcycle was scratching with the with the with, with the, the pegs with the on stand, the ground, yeah. you know, with the stand on <laughs> to the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was giving it full beans and wow. uh, I think I I I I even catch one com which in this area where all yes. the pro cyclists yeah, live yeah. is really hard to get. Yes. Staying on the right lane because we are not allowed yes. to cross no, there. Really, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're really strict with that. Um no, it was um it was good to it was good to to know the cause. Um Oh yeah. And we, we we put a lot of effort in it to be right. honest. We we had a video on the iPad which I watched and rewatched a couple of yes. evenings just to really really um nail it and it paid off yes N now that you've uh when, when you when you think about sebastian you think about jan in that era where the three of you dominated iron man racing mm -hmm. uh how do you look back on it because it's it's one thing to be you know, i'm the you know you're you're winning the iron man world championship but so are they <laughs> yeah yes. So could you guys be friends? Could you train together? Did you, is, was it like you sort of have to be a lone wolf a little bit? Yeah. Um, there's, there, I, I think there's, there's, it's, it's, it could be okay to be friends and, yes. you know, we met and we have a talk and um, it, that's all good. But I think um, training together would be really difficult because you obviously, uh, you're trying to beat the other guy. Exactly. That's what gets you out of bed. So it was a it was a big rivalry yes. between uh, the three of us that elevated the level. You know, we and you can see the times in no the question. finishing times. They got faster and faster and faster and faster. I, I was the first one to finish sub eight hours in in Kona in uh, 2018. Yep. And you know, the rivalry got us there. So training together, I think, uh, yeah, not possible. <laughs> well, and, you know, I could see it when when you got uh, third. Mm -hmm. um, you could almost see the look on Jan's face, mm -hmm. where okay, uh, I've got this guy's coming. I'm gonna have to get skinnier, and I thought he got mm. too skinny for yeah. the following year. I, I thought, I and, and we saw the same thing with yeah. Lionel. Lionel lost by two minutes, but felt like. He had to be, you know, change everything, change his coaches mm. and nutrition. So it it was interesting seeing that, you know, okay, you got third, and the domino effect on the guys mm -hmm. above you who mm -hmm. finished ahead of you, they're thinking, okay, there's there's no taking, there, there's no hanging out here. I've got to get better. There, and you like now for you, you see all these people coming from ITU and from the Olympics and mm -hmm. and uh, what Magnus and those guys are doing in there, and they're they're what, 25 years old, something like that. Yeah, yeah, they're really young. Yeah, it's interesting to see um, a generation of purely dedicated long course athletes yes. coming up. I think that's the big change that is. has happening. Uh, we ha we have some people coming from Olympic distance uh, at 28 or something and. Um, and going on to the long course racing scene, but people like Magnus, they had one goal in life. Iron Man. Sam Neutlow, <laughs> same same yep. story. They have one goal, and this is to win the world championship in Iron Man. Right. You know, full focus on Iron Man. Yeah. And uh, this is really interesting because I also coming from a mountain bike background. Right. And you don't see that so many t uh, so so often that people come from different sports to. To, to, to get to, the to, peak, to, yeah, 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 and so I think that the sport changed in that perspective. Um, but if it's elevating uh, the level, uh, which it does, well, it it's, totally it's, does. It's, it's great, yeah. I love it, Patrick. Thank you for always taking so much time. It's <laughs> such a and having you here in our hometown. I love it. You're gonna you're gonna have a great time. You're gonna love. You're gonna be out in that bike course going. This is beautiful out here. I will be thinking of you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, uh, I, I was just sitting down with Scott Drew, great guy, and yes. um, we were talking that I I better don't take the wrong turn in the military base. because <laughs> be, All of a sudden, you'll be wearing camo. You'll be, you'll be in a, it's like, oh, you just enlisted. <laughs> we'll see you in four years. 
you'll, you'll be 42 and you'll be you have a really short haircut oh i have a really ah! short haircut <laughs> no my love sh- you my haircut is ready to go you're ready to go the, you're ready to go to marine corps marine corps yeah, marine it's corps. marine corps marine I corps it. officer yeah, I lange Uh, (laughs) no better not i stick to tribesmen (laughs) patrick lange has been our guest everybody again breakfast with bob our oceanside edition hanging thanks so much for tuning in and uh catch you next time see ya